backed by popular demand, it's more Twisted Carnage. There's blood everywhere! <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down yet another top 10 hilarious movie deaths. Please be advised, this list is both ultra-violent and heavy on the awesome. Gobble gobble, mother -fucker. Number 10, Denial, Final Destination. Kicking off our list is a funny kill from the horror series that featured a bunch of teens trying and failing to cheat death. <laughs> Seeing as death hates being cheated, it finds overly complicated or unexpected ways to claim their lives. Of course, the sudden and frequent deaths of their pals cause them to bicker and debate the reality of the situation, with one young lady being particularly hard to convince. If you want to waste your life beating the shit out of Alex every time you see him, then you can just drop dead. Well, I guess that settles it. Number 9. Luck of the Irish, Dodgeball, a true underdog story. In this comedy, a group of misfits are led by Vince Vaughn on a quest to save their gym by winning a dodgeball tournament. They only ever stand a chance thanks to their hard-assed and unconventional Irish coach who taught them many important lessons. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? They know that with him in their corner and a little luck, they can crush the competition. You really think we can be glue with your piece? As long as we got patches, we got a shot. Oh boy, that's unlucky. Well, that's probably the way he would have wanted to go. Oh, come on, Brian! Or they'll have stoned him before we get there! Number 8. Stoning, Monty Python's Life of Brian. Mathias, son of Deuteronomy of Gath. Do I say yes? Yes. Yes. We hope religious satire is fair game for you. Here, John Cleese's high priest has sentenced a man to death by stoning for a simple crime. I'd had a lovely supper, and all I said to my wife was, that piece of halibut was good enough for Jehovah! Oh, for me! Meanwhile, the stoners in question seem to be women in not-so-convincing disguise. Are there any women here today? All hoping to sneak in a few good throws. Oh, lay off! We haven't started yet! Come on! Who threw that? Women or not, they are extremely anxious to get the stoning underway, as the victim himself comes dangerously close to setting them off as he pleads his case. If you say Jehovah once more, right, who threw that? But it's the high priest that finally sets them loose. No one is to stone anyone until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? Even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, even if they do say Jehovah. <laughs> You gotta watch what you say. Number 7. In the Closet, Burn After Reading In this film, the memoirs of an ex-CIA agent, played by John Malkovich, end up in the hands of a dim-witted gym employee, played by Brad Pitt. Thinking he can get rich, Pitt decides to up his payout by breaking into his house to steal even more secrets. Unfortunately, he's then forced to hide in the closet when the lover of the agent's wife, played by George Clooney, arrives to take a shower. And that's why you don't play peekaboo with someone who's holding a revolver. Number 6. Water Pressure, The Naked Gun 2 and a half, The Smell of Fear When an assassin sneaks into his target's washroom while she's taking a shower, he's caught up in the emotion of her singing. Scatter pictures of the smiles we left behind. When she finally realizes that her solo has become a duet, she calls for Leslie Nielsen to come save the day. The fierce struggle that follows has enough impromptu weapon improvisation to make Jason Bourne proud. <laughs> Ultimately, Nielsen gets his hands on a fire hose and turns it on his enemy. Cranking the pressure up to 11, he inflates his adversary with everything the building's got. Hey, what the hell happened to the water breaker? Luckily, he manages to escape before things get messy. Oh, I was so frightened. Ah! What happened out there? That's nothing. There's nothing to worry about. But if I were you, I wouldn't leave until they've had a chance to shampoo the carpets. Number 5. Why Won't You Die? Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. In this adventure, Austin finds himself traveling back to the shagadelic 1960s. Soon enough, he's found by Dr. Evil's assassins at a nightclub. The 
before they can stab him in the back. Austin realizes what's going on and turns the tables. But that's not all. He uses the one assassin as a human shield against a machine gun, a bazooka blast, and even a 20-story drop. You can't win, Bowers. Why won't you die? Number four, choked up, basket case three, the progeny. I think they're hungry. Okay, settle down. The trashy films are coming. So just relax, everybody. Here, a deformed monster that lives in a basket discovers that the sheriff's deputies have captured his offspring. Instead of coughing up the bail money, it decides to take matters into his own hands. Oh no. Those are some mighty strong hands. <laughs> Number three, Triple Sword, The Sword and the Sorcerer. In this film, a mercenary sporting an unusual weapon discovers that he's got royal heritage and must stop an evil tyrant and a sorcerer from conquering the land. Ambushed during his quest, he unleashes the fury of his ridiculously awesome triple-bladed weapon. Where can I get one of those? <laughs> Number two, Rambo, UHF. Lesbian Nazi hookers abducted by UFOs and forced into weight loss programs. All this week on Town Talk. In this Weird Al comedy, Al plays a shiftless dreamer who likes to imagine himself as the hero of blockbuster movies. As Rambo, he launches a rescue mission to save a POW, played by Michael Richards. This leads him to take on the Russian captors mano a mano with that special Hollywood invincibility. The same thing can't be said for his opponents, whether they be standing three feet away, firing from up on a hill, or even taking one last shot in desperation. Number one, the present, Happy Gilmore. First my dad, now Chubbs. Anybody I get close to dies. If I were you, I'd run. Another unconventional sports flick death? Hells to the yes. Here, Adam Sandler plays an unsuccessful hockey player who discovers his own hidden talent for golf. That house is like 400 yards away. Is that good? Helping him make his glorious transformation is his coach Chubbs, a man whose own career was ended when a gator bit off his hand. Damn, the alligator just popped up. Cut me down in my prime. He got me. But I tore one of that bastard's eyes out, though. Look at that. <laughs> You're pretty sick, Chubbs. To show his gratitude for the support Chubbs has given him, Sandler gives his friend a surprise gift. Remember the gator that got your hand? <laughs> I got his head. <laughs> Chubbs! Chubbs! Agree with our list? Which movie death made you laugh the most? For more entertaining top 10s, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.